Evidence of the amazing predictive power of mathematics can be found all around us. I heard it took five Elvises to pull them apart. <laughs> Television, radio, your cell phone, satellites, the baby monitor, Wi-Fi, your garage door opener, GPS, and yes, even maybe your TV's remote. All of these use invisible waves of energy to communicate. And no one even knew they existed until the work of James Maxwell, a Scottish mathematical physicist. In the 1860s, he published a set of equations that explained how electricity and magnetism were related, how each could generate the other. The equations also made a startling prediction. Together, electricity and magnetism could produce waves of energy that would travel through space at the speed of light. Electromagnetic waves. Maxwell's theory gave us these radio waves, X-rays, these things which were simply not known about at all. So the theory had a scope which was extraordinary. Almost immediately, people set out to find the waves predicted by Maxwell's equations. What must have seemed the least promising attempt to harness them is made here, in northern Italy, in the attic of a family home by 20-year-old Guglielmo Marconi. His process starts with a series of sparks. The burst of electricity creates a momentary magnetic field, which in turn generates a momentary electric field, which creates another magnetic field. The energy cycles between the two, propagating an electromagnetic wave. Marconi gets his system to work inside, but then he scales up. Over a few weeks, he builds a big antenna beside the house to amplify the waves coming from his spark generator. Then, he asks his brother and an assistant to carry a receiver across the estate to the far side of a nearby hill. They also have a shotgun, which they will fire if they manage to pick up the signal. And it works. The signal has been detected even though the receiver is now hidden behind a hill. At over a mile, it is the farthest transmission to date. In fewer than 10 years, Marconi will be sending radio signals across the Atlantic. In fact, when the Titanic sinks in 1912, he'll be personally credited with saving many lives because his onboard equipment allowed the distress signal to be transmitted. Thanks to the predictions of Maxwell's equations, Marconi could harness a hidden part of our world, ushering in the era of wireless communication.